Hey guys, how's it going? It's Monday, it's September 1st, Labor Day, and I hope you guys are having fun wherever you are. I hope you're not in your office or in your cubicle or anywhere else that you have to control the volume. I just thought I'd do a quick afternoon sidewalk and tell you about fishing and fishing conditions here in Texas, fly fishing. Uh, right now we've got a little storm maker out on the uh, upper Gulf Coast that from what I can tell by reading everybody's uh, Facebook feeds, uh, it's kind of putting the fishing off for those guys. So the guides there, um, they're kind of sitting back waiting, waiting for the weather to straighten itself out. Here in freshwater, uh, it's the usual kind of headed into the doldrums thing that happens in the fall just a little bit. This is just a slight version, I think. Uh, there's only three ways really that, that fishing works in freshwater. It's on, off, or in the doldrums. It's, it's hardly ever any anything but that around here and uh, so on this uh, Labor Day that's what's going on in fly fishing in Texas you'll see that I've got my honor to the Big Lebowski sitting here of course that's my annual tradition is to watch the Big Lebowski and and also I got a little taste of uh, people talking about uh, the Grapes of Wrath and that got me to thinking that there's no better day to start uh, a new era at Texas Flycaster than Labor Day 2014 and that's what we're going to do. Beginning this week, uh, maybe as early as tomorrow, Texas Flycaster, the site that's had a lot of free content over the last seven years, is going to become a pay content website. Uh, it's not anything, it just seems natural to me because I come from the newspaper background, I'm a professional writer, I get paid to write, and I see plenty of my stories taken and rewritten and published. So. In an effort to kind of make the whole thing work better, we're going to go ahead and, and have subscriptions for Texas Flycaster, and it depends on how often you want to read, or if you just want to read one story or want to read for a year. I think the rates are going to be pretty good. Uh, that thing should, the, the whole subscription thing should kick in uh, this week, and it's bleeding edge technology, and that's the way I work, you know, whether it's with cameras or with computers or any of this other stuff. So I try to get out on the edge, and sometimes there's a little bloodshed. So I appreciate you guys reading all these years and reading the free content. And if you're one of those guys, girls, whatever, that thinks all content should be free on the Internet, it's been nice knowing you. And uh, I hope you would subscribe and, and get over that. But uh, there's plenty of places that you can, you can read free content that's not nearly the quality we offer here. And another thing about the content we get here is there'll still be a lot of free content. Um, the things that are sent in by other people and provided by other people will be published and they'll be free to read. Whether it's about a fly tying event, a meeting, or any of these other things that, that come along, um, those will be free to read. And as I said, all the past seven years of writing around 20,000 words each year um, will still be free to read until December 31st. And then we're going to go in and, and work on that and selectively uh, have stories that are monetized, but that's a long ways off. Um, so I hope you ride along with me. It should feed on itself and actually generate even more better content. There's going to be a lot more creative writing going on in third person and things like that to give, to give some of the stories kind of the feel of a, a factual novel, if you want to call it that. And that's that's uh, interesting and it's kind of liberating in a way but it's also challenging because to mingle facts with with uh, real life and and then have an interesting storyline woven through it is, is really difficult to do but I think it's time to to really up the uh, ante a little bit on the writing hope you guys have a great week if you have any questions let me know it shouldn't be too difficult to uh, to subscribe going forward and uh, I look forward to you coming back. I'll be uh, out of town for a few days and uh, reporting from another state and bringing, hopefully bringing back some information about a week from today about uh, New Mexico. So have a great week, and we'll see you next week.